of course, any foreign regime, in this case China, does not have the interest or capacity to interfere in electoral processes at the next election. So I hope that the Prime Minister will accept this request, which is quite reasonable and uh, very common sense and in the public good. When it comes to Maurice Rosenberg, well, he gives quite a vision that might be complacent and abstract on certain historic elements. He suffers a lot from a deficit of credibility. The working groups were not public, and this is an issue that needs to be transparent and public when it comes to electoral processes. On the other side, without judging the services of Mr. Rosenberg, it's evident that his proximity to the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation, which allegedly received sums from Chinese donors, that in itself is not the subject of the inquiry, but does create an appearance of proximity. And it leads to questions on the true independence of his role. That is why the House of Commons should be called on to select the person who would chair the work of a commission or public inquiry. Would it be like the Rouleau Commission, for example? Well, there are several possible formulas. There are various options provided for under the law. It could be more like the Gomer Commission, there are several possible scenarios. But I think that rather than minimizing or invoking uh, argument of racism against the Chinese community, on the contrary, we should be protecting ourselves because it's specifically some Chinese um, nationals who deserve to be protected. So. They should ensure that the Prime Minister sees his colleagues in this light. There's, without giving a reassuring message to the public to see that all parties are working to preserve the integrity of our electoral processes. How can we reduce the risk of interference? Well, getting information. An investigation will get a significant volume of information. It will give us better knowledge of what the practices are of someone who becomes an adversary in this situation, for example, in terms of interference from China. So we do need to know much more. If we look at, at the very nature of intelligence services, it is to protect our electoral processes and protect the public, and this needs to be public, and we need to know as much as possible. The more we know, the better able we will be to put in place measures to protect our democracy.